everyone. I'm Anindita Roy, Middle School Facilitator of Indian School, representing Swinson Peace. Today, I have the privilege of speaking to Kaya Patel, an award-winning author. Kaya has recently received India's number one best-selling author award for her outstanding contribution to literature. Kaya, it's an honor to have you with us today. How are you, Kaya? I'm good, ma'am. Uh, thank you for having this opportunity for me. It's a great thing, huh? Welcome, Kaya. So, first of all, congratulations for your recent award. Can you tell us a bit about what inspired you to start writing and what winning this award means to you? Oh, Mom, so I've been living with a rare genetic disorder called spinal muscular atrophy, which left me wheelchair bound in life. Uh, my life has not been easy. Uh, me and my elder sister have been brought up by my mom, who is a single parent, and I've lived through our struggles. And it's heart wrenching, but at the same time, it inspires me tremendously and has taught me to see joy in little things. In my early years, owing to my condition, a no hobby teacher would allow me to enroll in their extracurricular classes. So my mom taught me all types of art and crafts, even encouraged me in creative writing and to read good books. Uh, she would tell me that, Kia, one day you will tell your story to the world and everyone will clap for you. Uh, I have been wheelchair bound and uh, never walked in my life. Uh, my condition, my condition needed a high risk spine surgery just to be able to sit and breathe without support. So I dropped out of offline school in 2022. I underwent the surgery and while I was recuperating from it, I joined that online 21 k school. Schooling online gave me a lot of comfort in my condition. Uh, though I couldn't do much those days except for attend school for a few hours uh, reclined on my bed. I would read uh, a lot of books that time. So when uh, Brie Books announced the launch of the first edition of a National Young Authors Fair, my English teacher Mary Mann from 21K, she encouraged me to participate. She felt that uh, I had the flair to write and found my personal journey quite inspiring. I too felt it would be a great way to distract myself from the pain I was in and that's how I wrote my uh, first book, Dancing on My Wheels. My practice of reading and writing from a young age using the creativity skills my mom had taught me, helped me with the fluency that I have today. Alongside, I researched on various aspects of storytelling and marketing, which helped me to shape my book and uh, sell uh, um, so many copies. And I honestly feel really delighted to have received the award, although I should not let it get to me that I'm famous and all. But yes, it's an amazing opportunity and it's great to have the recognition of an author. That was a really inspiring you know, that was that was amazing the way you have your fight wars and the way you have uh, you are recognized now it is great. So now the next question: How has Twenty One P School and your facilitators contributed to your journey? This is the best question that has been asked to me so far. Twenty One K School has helped many children turn into a young age achievers, those who are physically challenged like me and those who are also able-bodied. 21K imparts education through a hands-on and innovating, innovative learning curriculum. The amount of time one saves by joining online school to focus on their other hobbies and passion is another strength. I think joining 21K school has changed my life and for someone like me who has challenges moving around, you can imagine that what I would go through in an online school most 
of which do not have ramps and lifts to help someone like me on a wheelchair to move about. Thank you, Kaya. Uh, can you share a bit about the journey of creating your award-winning piece? What challenges did you face along the way? I wrote my first book, A Short Story, based on my favorite memory of me dancing on my wheels while taking part in my grade three sports day a dance drill. It was the first time in the school's history of 80 years that a wheelchair bound uh, child and a wheelchair was uh, allowed to take part in an outdoor event. A dancing on my wheels was very well received. The story inspired everyone who read it. It went on to win uh, the National Young Authors Fair in 2022, ranking number two all India selling over 1,000 copies in less than a month. Winning NYF in 2023 opened several doors for me. I was invited to speak as a motivational speaker at many forums. I met many people in the year, many who were wheelchair bound like me and learned about the I was I learned about their inspiring journey. This experience inspired me and motivated me to write my second book, I'm Possible, which is based on my own life, which I believe could inspire many others to uh, never give up to develop a never give up attitude amidst their personal struggles. By this time I was a bit more seasoned. Uh, my second book was received even better and went on to win the NYF 2024 ranking number one All India. And this time we sold over 2,500 uh, 2, copies in a month. And yes. It is indeed incredible, Kaya. Yes. What are your plans for your future writing projects? Are there any new genres or themes that you are, that you will explore? Uh, the whole NYF experience made me realize how to become not just a good storyteller, but also a good entrepreneur and market my book to reach more people. I wish to continue to nurture my writing abilities and spread the message of inclusion and empath empathy through my books, art, and spoken words. I firmly believe one has nothing to lose by being nice to another, and each of us is capable of making a difference in the life of another for which uh, for that to happen, change has to begin with us first. So I believe that if I have to share my story, then I could choose any genre and I would be more than happy to uh, uh, like, uh, like explore all genres. Wow, that's great. So what advice would you offer to your friends aspiring to become, um, to write and become author? I would like to tell to all authors out there that if you have a story that has to be told to the world, then you should be able to do it. And writing is a very good way to share your story. And if the story is inspiring and motivating for a person, then you could be inspiring another person to write their own books. And one thing that I firmly believe is that all of us are able in some ways and not able in some, but we should focus on our abilities over our disabilities. Thank you, Pia. It has been so, so very inspiring and motivating talking to you. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and experiences with us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Pia. Your exceptional achievements have filled our school with pride and 21K school extends heartfelt wishes for all your future endeavors. Thank you.